uh, back again. Um, so uh, this is, I think I forgot to say, the last part was part three. I think, oh, I don't even know anymore. I will look, I will check. I'll write it in the <laughs> title. I give up sometimes. I just give, give up. Sometimes it's just easier, isn't it? Um, anyway, so this is part four, hopefully, I think, of my uh, September 2013 K-pop playlist. Or oh, hashtag K-pop playlist. Definitely not hashtag my K-pop. Gosh, I wish, I wish. I wish I'd be able to pick on. Anyway, let's not get distracted again. <laughs> um... It's a snake band, huge, flipping huge band, nine members. Okay, not quite as big as EXO, but enough, big enough. Yeah, um, but to be honest, you know, I actually think that large bands in Korea, why do they work well? Because in Korea, every single man has to go to army at some point from between the age of 18 and 35. It, yeah, that's true. Um, you can do it from between any of those ages. So you have, what, 17 years to do two years. That's what you have to do it for, two years. That's the, the, the minimum that you have to do um, of army training. Not tra training, army enlistment. Um, Every single man, even the K-pop idols, have to. Um, for instance, um, Lee Sung and Lee Tuk from Super Junior are both in the army at the moment. I don't know who else is in terms of idols. I'm sure that many of my friends will know. You don't need to tell me. I don't necessarily need to know. I'm not that bothered. Um, I know that those two idols are. And I'm, I'm just trying not to think about them being there. Because if I think about them, I then get sad and I miss them. And... The fact that I'm going to SS5 and neither of those two will be there, that does make me sad. But I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to think about who is there. I do not care at all whether he shall comes or not. I think he... <coughs> Excuse me. I think he should, just to bulk up the numbers, really. But that's the only reason. And to be the weird one, because he is weird. I'm sorry. my I really have never liked he shall. I've just always found him weird, crazy, and just... I don't really care whether you judge me, to be honest, on, on that one. Um, you know, I don't... I'm not bothered about him. I love Super Junior as a band. Uh, but he shall I've never had really that much time for. Um, I've just always found him really weird. And I don't really know why he was chosen to be in the band. Um, I mean, I've never learned anything about him. But, and maybe there are... Maybe he is good at some things. I don't know. We shall soon see. I might have a complete change of heart, a complete change of mind after the concert. And I've seen it all live. Who knows? I mean, I've seen Super Junior live before. Um, SM Town Live in Paris in 2011. Um, but, um, anyway. This next band. Um, it's a very large band. But, and... It's a band I don't really know a lot about, but I do really like this band. I've seen them on a few shows so far. I've seen also um, Zia 5. Yes, I am talking about Zia. <laughs> um, I saw them on... I saw Zia, the whole band, on Guru Pop show. When Guru Pop was still running, but of course it's not going on now because of the whole Daniel in, uh, incident. Uh, I'm not going to talk about that because that would take me forever. <laughs> and I don't really know the full thing about it so but as he's my bias that's another person that I don't really want to think about or talk about because again I will miss him and he's not even going is he and he's going to prison great <sighs> so anyway um I've watched them on Grow Pot show I've watched them on I've watched Zia 5 on after school club show I think I might have watched uh, Zia on Jang as well um yeah I've watched quite a few a few things with them on and uh, I've really liked them I've really found them very cool funny, silly, powerful <laughs> um, but they are 
and th- well, this was a brilliant song, a brilliant comeback, and then an al- a great album. Um, I've not really, li- I haven't listened to the whole album, but I like this song. So yeah, let's get on with Zia's Ghost of the Wind. <laughs> This next song by a band that I don't know exactly when they debut. I think it could have been this year. Um, but when I first discovered this band, I just went a bit mad and crazy at the you know, when I first saw the video I thought, Oh my goodness, this band are totally cute and totally just and the thing I love about this, the drummer isn't just a regular drummer. He is like you know, he plays the kind of drum that is like one you wear around your neck and it's that kind of, you know, hand drum. Um, and he's also a rapper in the band. And I just think, okay, he keeps the rhythm and he raps at the same time. That is really quite an in- impressive talent to have. I think that's what you call multitasking. <laughs> I, I could never like do that guy. <laughs> I just... That would be really hard. So, yeah. Um, I don't know any of the members. I really need to learn some more about bands and stuff. And <sighs> well, I'm just I'm terrible at learning about these things these days. i probably catch up one day. I have time. Um, maybe. Anyway. But I think the one thing I must do is when I next get a holiday, not to, like waste it too much, not to rest too much and not to be lazy too much. And actually do things, actually learn about things and do the things that I said I was going to do. In the summer I said, oh I'll catch up on K-dramas. Did I watch a single episode? No. Didn't watch anything in the end. I just got so bored and fed up of the summer. I'm just wanting autumn and now oh no, I'm feeling ready for another holiday already. Um, but yeah, love this band. It looks like actually they might have two drummers in the band because looking at the album cover, um, it's kind of what it looks like. Not quite interesting, unexpected, but um, so they are another uh, K-rock t- style type band, uh, like Led Up or C and Blue of the Island, um, <coughs> of which I like all those bands as well. Um, uh, so, this, um, actually, I'm going to play this from the beginning because I just love the beginning of this song. Um, oh, we've got time. Um, so, yeah. Um, I love this song. Love this band. Um, I did love their other song, but it wasn't in English and I couldn't be bothered to write a song. And I can't, well, I, I could do it on my iPad but I don't have to like squint at the I- iPod to be able to write the hangle there. It's difficult for me to write hangle. Anyway, I'm going to just play some of this song now. Um, I love this song. So the band is called Say Yes or uh, S-A-Y-Y-E-S. <laughs> I think they do say that in, in one of the songs at some point. Uh, the song is called Virus. Thank you. 
stop it there because <laughs> I think that's long enough and played like a minute and 20 seconds so so yeah that's my um uh 20 uh September 2013 k-pop uh hashtag k-pop playlist uh sorry I'm speaking so fast but now I am running a bit short on time um and just want to have a quick say that hopefully soon I am going to be getting another package in the mail but then that will be it and I do mean that it for ages and ages and by that I mean I probably won't be getting doing another unboxing possibly until February maybe even not till March depends what money I have and depends you know what I'm if I'm trying to save for things which I am really and I've just I've done pants at saving any money so far this year as I have in previous years and I really really do want to start probably saving some money now because as my family has said I really do need to um, so, but there will still be videos. There just might be not as many in the future. Um, but please, guys, if you ever want me to talk about anything in particular to do with K-pop, let me know. Um, drop me a comment. Um, drop me a message go on Google Plus. Um, search Puppy Jane Moorcroft with a Y. <laughs> you know, you probably find it through my YouTube, possibly, um, or just ask me, and I'll link it to you. Um, I'm also on Tumblr, I'm on Twitter, and on Facebook. Um, I'm at I Smell That Smell, and it's a capital letter at the beginning of each word <laughs> as well. When you'd it'd probably come up anyway. Um, and I am uh, Puppy M19, I think, on Tumblr, um, or uh, Loving Cape Pop Always um, on Tumblr, uh, and I'm also Poppy Jane Moorcroft on on Facebook. So uh, yeah. So, message me uh, whenever you want. I'd love to talk to you guys. But for now, that is it for a little while. I will be doing unboxing hopefully uh, in a few weeks, um, maybe sooner. So, uh, yeah, look forward to future videos. There will be a few less in the future. But I will always have, you know, some videos, just not as many. Um, and I will make hand cams when I go to SS5 and I will put them on here for everyone to see because I'm actually very close to the stage. I'm not standing, but I'm very close to the stage. Um, I can't show you a picture of it because it's on the iPad, <laughs> unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I will speak to you guys all soon. Okay. Oh, and yeah, Sadang hey.